first I'm going to start off by using liquid latex by Ben Nye and I'm just using a paintbrush or a makeup brush that you don't mind getting ruined by the latex. I'm just using this a synthetic one by Ben Nye and I'm just gonna paint the latex on my face and then I'm gonna get a tissue and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna crunch in my hand to create a textured lining on the surface of the tissue and then I'm gonna start ripping it to pieces and with that tissue I'm just gonna press it against the latex and then put another layer of latex right across on top of the tissue and by crinkling the tissue, this is going to create a kind of decayed skin texture for our zombie. So we're just going to paint that on and make sure you paint on the tissue and also on the edges and onto your skin. And you're basically going to do this in any part of the face where you wish torn flesh to be. I'm just going to do it on random parts of my face. You could cover your entire face and neck in this if you'd like and it just peels straight off, no worries. Um, the only thing you want to be careful of is putting latex over hair. I highly recommend you do not put latex anywhere near your eyelashes, eyebrows or hair. Uh, if you can, avoid those areas completely as the latex will grip onto the fibers of your hair and when you pull it off later, it will rip the hair. And also be careful when going around the eyes with latex as the fumes from the latex can create your eyes to water and will cause them to severely burn if you get latex in your eye. And then you're going to get either a toothpick or a dental tool. I'm just using a dental tool which has a sharp hard plastic end and I'm just going to use that to start to poke through the latex and tissue and this is going to help us create our wounds so I'm just going underneath the latex and poking holes through and ripping the tissue itself and you're just going to do this to make wounds all across your face you'll notice that the latex and tissue becomes very stretchy so it's easy to maneuver and pull apart and it's not going to hurt or pull on your skin unless of course you've placed it over some type of hair. Now just be very careful when doing this to not actually pierce your skin and just be very careful when going around the eye areas. And then I'm just taking a regular liquid foundation on a cosmetic sponge and I'm just going to place that all over the latex and tissue as well as my skin itself. Now the latex and tissue will appear a different shade to the skin color but this isn't something to worry about as we're just going to cover it with makeup later on anyways. And then I'm just using this La Femme palette and I'm using the color avocado and I'm just going to use that on a firm blending brush and I'm just going to blend that on random parts of the face. And this is to just create the illusion of dead skin as we all know classic zombies have. And then I'm using the color bronze to further darken up and dirty the latex and tissue. So I'm just doing that around where I've just previously put the green. And then I'm going to use the color charcoal just to darken some bits of the face. So around my eyes, and we're just going to blend that in, and a little bit on my face. And then you're going to take any red eyeshadow, 
and you're just gonna put that inside the places where we've torn the latex these are going to be your ripped skin and wounds and I'm also placing it around one of my eyes making that one of the major wounds now you'll notice that this red color is way too bright and unrealistic to be a proper muscle and flesh tone so I'm just gonna take that charcoal color I was using before and just darken that up again if you've got a maroon red definitely use that but if you've only got a bright red you can always use a charcoal to tone it down further And don't forget to also blend some of the colours down on your neck to create, to extend the look further. And then I'm taking the Benai Fresh Scab Wound on the end of that dental stick. And I'm just going to place that within the folds and edges of the facial wounds. Now this is just a very gelatinous and thick blood. So this is going to be your primary base of blood. And then you're going to take the theatrical blood on just a regular makeup brush and you're just going to drip that all over your face. Now you definitely do not have to be neat whatsoever with this blood as zombies aren't neat themselves. They're absolutely always covered in blood. So you're just going to put that inside the wound, splatter it all over your face, dab it in, rub it around, do as you please. And once you've done that, you're finished.